Hey everybody, it's Keith, and I got an update on the trailer and side-by-side -side theft. So if you didn't see the video, it's right up here. Um, or here, I don't know, film front-facing camera, so it might be either side. Anyways, uh, December 23rd, somebody broke the lock on my gate. They cut it off with uh, bolt cutters, drove to the back of my lot because they had scoped it out earlier that day twice. You can see all the videos in that. Uh, broke the lock off my trailer, grabbed my trailer that had my broken side-by-side -side on it that I bought cheap because I uh, bought it cheap to fix it, and then I drove off with it into the, into the, into the night, right? Yeah. My employee John showed up four minutes later after they left. He lives not very far away. I call him, called him and the cops just as soon as I could. Anyway, so here's the update. Uh, it was stolen on the 23rd, I think, was when it was, yeah, stolen. Um, the truck was stolen. So the individual who owns the truck, completely innocent, dude's name's Monty, super cool, helped us connect the dots because... That truck was recovered the following day. It was recovered because the police saw a stolen vehicle sitting in a parking lot of a hotel, drove up to the vehicle, and there was a person in the vehicle. The person in the vehicle had a warrant for having a stolen vehicle. Also is known to a local county, LaFleur County, Shoto, Cameron, Oklahoma area, um, almost Arkansas, uh, is known to that county for stealing trailers. Surprise, surprise, right? Anyways, you got to remember, this is a guy caught in a truck that didn't have my truck and trailer attached. It's just a truck. We don't know if that truck was the truck that stole mine yet. Uh, you got to think about like evidence, how to link these up, right? Well, how did I come to know this and find out? Well, the individual who owned the truck was tagged like 10 times on my Facebook post because uh, they were like, hey, Monty, isn't this your truck? And he was like, yep, that's my truck. It was stolen yesterday. And he had posted where it was stolen the day before. Monty gets his truck back. Monty sends me a picture of something. He calls us and goes, hey, obviously this video is getting shared everywhere, which I appreciate that, Eric O, and everyone else that shared that um, greatly. That's really helped us get this far. He said, hey, uh, I definitely think it was my truck. Is this yours? Sent me a picture of this. That is the lock to my trailer. Now, yes, you can buy that lock at Tractor Supply yourself. It's the cheap one. I get that. But what are the chances that the... 99 to, I don't remember exactly what yours was, but it had an 06 grill, so it had to be like a late 03, 04 to 08 truck, but it had 6 4 mirrors, stock wheels, no lift, silver run, I mean, it was to the T. So, that was the truck in the video. That was my trailer lock in the back of that truck. Also, the red stuff in the back was in it and all that stuff. So, I called the Catoosa Police Department, where I filed my police report, because his truck was stolen in Rogers County, filed with Rogers County Sheriff's Department. The truck was recovered by Tulsa County Police Department, or Tulsa County Sheriff's Department, I apologize. Um, so, I called all of them and said, hey, this is what happened, this is the truck, this is the everything. And then I got the information of the individual. I filed a Freedom of Information Act, a FOIA request. And uh, Lucas Ryan Thompson, here's all the information I have on the guy, including all of his addresses and everything he's lived at. Uh, guy, this is a kid, and uh, has previous felonies. Also has some problems with child support. Now, you can look him up on OSCN.net because it's free, and it's the Freedom of Information Act. And if you don't be a turd in your life, then you won't have felonious activity recorded on the Internet of yourself. Anyways... This is the guy, again, can't prove this. I am, I am speculating because he's known for stealing trailers. He was found in the stolen vehicle. And, you know, yeah, it could have changed hands in the one day. Anyways, I'm guessing this is the dude that did it. 
I'm not saying do anything to this guy. I'm not saying dox him. I'm not saying you know try to get a hold of him, call him, track him down, anything. I'm not saying any of that stuff. What I'm saying is if you know this guy, if you know anyone that knows him, if you know anywhere he's ever been, look around for my trailer and side-by-side -side because I have a reward for you. I have $1,000 cash for me, and graciously, my good friend Erico has, has offered to also put in $1,000 at rewards. We have a $2,000 reward, cash, for whoever can either bring me my trailer and side by side, or go, it's right here, go, come get it, I'll come get it, I'll meet you with cash. Um, do not call me and say, I know where it's at, give me $250, and I'll tell you where it's at. I'm not giving you any money. If you call me and go, I know where it's at, and you send me a picture of it, I'll go meet you with the money, but uh, don't try to rob me. It'll, it'll not end well. Anyways, um, you know what to do. Get a hold, You guys know how to get a hold of me. I have a shop. Here's our shop telephone number. Do not call me with other stuff, please. Don't call me trying to scam me. I'm not giving you any money unless you got proof that you know where my trailer is. Help me find it. Roll over on your neighbor. Make a little money. Turn in a felon. Help me find my stuff, please. Um, the side-by-side's broken, it doesn't work. The carburetor needs rebuilt, I have the key for it. The trailer, I put a lot of time into making. It's a unique trailer. So the trailer is a Highline brand trailer. They may have painted it, whatever, by now. I have the title for it, just like I have the bill of sale for the side-by-side. -side. Um, I put an electric jack on the trailer. It's from like Tractor Supply, it's a cheap one. Uh, I also put a triangle plastic box on it with a solar panel on top. And then there is a winch on it, a Traveler brand winch with a blue, uh, blue little uh, tag on the hook. They may have stripped it down to nothing now. I don't know. I may never see it again. But my assumption is, is he stole the truck, stole my trailer and stuff, took it somewhere fairly close. I assume he didn't drive to Dallas, then drive all the way back up to get caught in Tulsa, not very far away. And then he stashed it somewhere and got arrested the following day. So it's probably somewhere at a property that he's been to before, somewhere we hide stuff. So also, if you're the turd that is holding stuff for him, just be like, hey, I found it on the side of the road and bring it to me and I'll give you some cash. I don't care. But don't try to scam me. I'm not going for it. Anyways, uh, I really appreciate you guys. Please share this, share this across as many platforms as you possibly can. I'd really just like to get my stuff back. Could I file an insurance claim on this? Absolutely. I have business insurance. If this was a customer's piece of property or a car or something, I would, I would have filed an insurance claim and taken care of it immediately. Problem is, if I file an insurance claim, they're going to raise my rates and then they're going to call me in a couple months and be like, hey, we're just, you know, based on our statistics, you filed a small claim now. Oh, my hair is all kinds of messed up. You, smiled a, you filed a small claim, you're probably going to file another, we're going to drop you. And then my insurance rates would go up and over the next 10 years, I'd pay way more than the 10, 15,000 it cost me to replace it. Um, I mean, full disclosure, I paid like 3500 bucks for a trailer, and then I spent a month saving up extra money to to put the winch and the box on it. It was a cheap box. It was like a $90 plastic box. It was a cheap uh, Harbor Freight solar panel. I put a battery that I bought from Pro Series from the shop that we stock over there. I didn't put like an awesome 31 Series AGM. It's just a cheap marine battery. Um, I just... You know, it's, it's something that cost me a lot of time and money to set up, and I'd really like to have my stuff back. So, appreciate it if you guys would share this and help me find it. Uh, all you got to do is look around. Uh, if you're in the northeastern Oklahoma area, it's somewhere between, like, probably Shoto, Miami, Tulsa, Wagner. I don't know. He's got contacts all over the place. Did a deep dive, found a bunch of information about him, his family, and where he's lived. But mostly in Tulsa, he's worked at, he worked at Turner Roofing where they were a customer of ours. So he does not work there now. Please don't call them. They're good people over there. Um, but it's just, you know, it's really unfortunate. It sucks. I'd like to have my stuff back. So uh, I got to get out of here. It's past 8 o'clock on Friday night. Uh, ready to go home. Going to get ready for our Diag Day stuff tomorrow. Hopefully you'll see some more videos of that and less, less of I got my crap stolen and please help me. So we'll see you guys next time. And thanks again for sharing everything and helping us.